Okay, we are ready to begin. Again, I know I said this at the last concert, but it, it's very true. We are seriously packed on here like sardines, and I was just making sure we didn't have a casualty over here because that tubing chair is really close to the stairs. If y'all can kind of be my eyes during the concert and make sure that scares me to death because it has happened before. Okay, we are ready to start. This is our 6-1 band, and I'm really excited about what you're going to hear tonight. These students have made a lot of progress since the last time you heard them in December. And the first song we're going to play for you is just kind of a fun thing, but we, we made it kind of cooler sounding today by adding in drum set. So we're going to play We Will Rock You, which I'm sure you've heard before, and Mr. Clark is going to be featured on the drum set for us, so we hope you enjoy our first piece. Thank <laughs> you. 
might also notice, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but they have name tags on their stands. That's part of our daily routine and procedure from day one when they started in band club class in August. And you can imagine with this many students in just one class period, because we also have a 6-2 band, it takes us a while to learn names. Now, they don't still have the name tags out because we don't know their names. That's really just part of the routine that we do every day. So when they come into class, every single day their name tags are out. There's no guessing on where they should go. Even on the days that we combine together, because usually you, you probably remember me telling you, we're split in a woodland brass percussion class. So when we come back together when we get ready for a concert, they come in, they know where to sit, they come in quietly, it's just part of what we do. So it probably didn't even phase them that they came on stage and their name tags are out. That's just how we do things. And you might even notice that some of these name tags, it's like a badge of honor. They get stickers when they do well on playing tests, so you'll see some of them have their stickers on their name tag. It's probably going to be a good keepsake for them at the end of their sixth grade year. But that's what you see when there are their stickers when they get 100% on their playing tests. Okay, you have attached to your program some information about a summer band camp. This is a summer band camp that I started in this area about 15 years ago, and it's really just taken off. And it's really convenient for our TAP students because we run the camp at Irby Kitchen High School. The dates of the camp this summer are June 23rd through the 26th. It's just for Cobb County students in middle school grades six through eight. And I would love to have as many of the students on the stage attend if they're able to. But I'm gonna be available for questions if you have any questions about the camp after our concert. The last piece we're gonna play for you today by far is the hardest one we've learned all year and it's a lot of fun to play. It's called Furioso.